Hello everyone. Welcome to the LRDF 50 series by iQuanta. In this series we'll be solving a cat level set every day till cat on our Facebook group and you can find out the solution to those sets in our YouTube channel. Apart from that, if you have any quant verbal or LRDI doubt, then you can post it on our cat preparation iQuanta group and get it solved for free. So, let us start solving today's set. It will be based upon ratios and percentages. The question is there are four ways w1 w2 w3 and w4 to increase the efficiency number which is total output units upon one input unit of a machine that develops a product so basically this means that if you give one input unit to a machine it will transform it into multiple output units and there are four ways w1 w2 w3 and w4 to increase the efficiency number after that the percentage increase in efficiency number is 15%, 12.5%, 25% and 10% by using W1, W2, W3 and W4 respectively. So if I employ W1 then the efficiency number will be increased by 15%. Then if we employ W2 then the efficiency number will be increased by 12.5% and by 25% by applying W3 and by 10% if we employ W4. The cost required per unit input to deploy these ways is given in the table below. So for one input unit, the cost to apply these methods, they are given in this table below. If I employ W1, then the cost per unit input, it will be $12, $10 for W2, $18 for W3 and $9 for W4. Then the total input units and the efficiency number for the year 2017 is 40 million and 20 respectively. So the total input units in 2017 it is 40 million and efficiency number is 20 here. So I hope you have understood the set. The first question is which of the following pairs of ways costs the same per unit output increase in production per unit input. So we are talking about the cost of same per unit output increase in production per unit input. So by reading this we can say that there is an increase in output. And there will be an increase in output when there will be some increase in the efficiency number. So we were given that in 2017 the efficiency number is 20. So if we apply W1, the efficiency number earlier was 20. Now it would be increased by how much? 15%. So if we increase 20 by 15%, we will multiply it by 1.15 which gives me 23 as the new efficiency number. Now what is the meaning of efficiency number? total output units per one input unit. So earlier when we were providing one input unit we were getting 20 units. Now if we will give one input unit we will be getting 23 units output. Similarly if we talk about W2 then using W2 what will be the increase in efficiency it will be 12.5% so we will multiply it by 1.125 which gives me 22.5 as the efficiency number. Similarly for W3 it would be increased by 25% so 1.25 this gives me 25 as the new efficiency number. For W4 it will be increased by 10% so into 1.1 which gives me 22 as the new efficiency number. So now we can see that there is an increase in output. Earlier for one unit we were getting 20 output units now for one unit input we are getting 23 units as output. So the output unit it has been increased by 3. In case of W1 similarly in case of W2 it has been increased by from 20 it has gone to 22.5 so there is an increase of 2.5. In W3 there has been an increase of 20 to 25 so 5. For W4 the increase is 2. Now for total 3 output units increase we are paying a sum of $12 in W1 so for every unit over here we will be paying a sum of 12 by 3 which gives me $4. In the similar manner for W2 over here, 2.5 output units are being increased by providing one input unit and for that the total cost is $10. So for every output unit the cost would be 10 by 2.5 which gives me $4 again. Similarly for W3, total 5 output units is the increase. And for them we are paying a total sum of $18. So for every output unit we will be paying a sum of 18 by 3 which gives me 
at last for w4 it would be 9 by 2 which gives me 4.5 dollar now we are talking about which of the following pairs of wave cause the same per unit input increase in production per unit input so we can see that for w1 and w2 it is same so option 2 would be the correct answer over here so first of all we took the efficiency number which was 20 we applied all the ways and after that applying all the ways we found the new efficiency numbers by new efficiency numbers we are getting some increase in the output units and for that particular increase in output units we are paying a sum of 12 dollars for w1 w2 w3 w4 these are the costs that we have been given we want to find out per unit cost so we'll divide it by the total output increase now let us try to solve the second question the second question is in 2018 the input units are expected to increase by 10 percent as compared to 2017 and the demand for the product is expected to be 1012 million output units if the maximum amount that can be invested in increasing efficiency number is 660 million then how many of the given ways each when applied alone can be considered in order to meet the expected demand so in the very first line we have been told that input units will be increased by 10 percent in 2017 total input units were 40 million when we increase them by 10 percent so 40 into 1.1 which gives me 44 million these will be the new input units and the demand for the product is 1012 million output units so output units are total 1012 million these are the input units over here now if we find out total output upon input we will be getting the efficiency number so efficiency number over here it would be 1012 upon 44 and when you solve this you will be getting an efficiency number 23 now in 2017 the efficiency number was 20 now it is 23 so there has been some increase in the efficiency number and that will be the change which is 3 upon initial value 20 into 100 that means the increase in efficiency number is 15 percent over here so that means now we'll check all those ways in which the increase is 15 percent at least 15 percent so in w1 the increase is 15 percent and in w3 also the increase is more than 15 percent that means ways w1 and w3 can be employed both of these can be employed but let us check further see after that we were also given that if the maximum amount that can be invested in increasing the efficiency number is 660 million so total money that can be put into increasing the efficiency number is 660 million so let us find out the amount that will be invested per unit what will be that amount total is 660 million units this is the amount and what is the total number of input units now it is 44 so that means for every input unit we are paying a sum of $15 now. So if we check for W1 over here the cost per unit per input unit it is $12 which is less than $15. $15. So with money even less than $660 million, we can achieve the demand. So that means we can definitely employ W1. Now let us check for W3. See in W3 we can see that the cost per unit input it is $18 which is more than $15 and for W3 the increase in efficiency number it is 25% over here. Now if we check for W3 over here we can see that the cost per unit input to deploy W3 is $18 over here but the maximum we can employ per unit input over here it is $15. This means that in this case the budget will definitely exceed. Now $18 is the cost when the efficiency increase it is 25% for W3 it is given to us over here. So let us check what is the efficiency of W3 when the cost per unit input is $15. So let it be x when we cross multiply we will be getting the value of x equal to it will be roughly around 21%. So still we can see that if W3 has an efficiency of 21% which is greater than the efficiency that we require the efficiency that we required was 15 percent over here so in this case also when the efficiency of w3 is 21 percent the cost that we are employing it will be 15 into 44 that means 660 dollars 
or 660 million dollars because we have found the efficiency of w3 for a cost of 15 dollars per input unit so that means w1 can also be employed as well as w3 can also be employed so i hope this is clear first of all we found out the increase in efficiency number which was 15 percent so we'll choose all those methods in which the efficiency is greater than 15 percent then we found out the cost per unit input which was coming out as 15 dollars over here so both the conditions were being satisfied for w1 so we directly said that w1 can be employed then we checked it for w3 for w3 we could see that the cost per unit input it was 18 dollars which was more than 15 dollars so what we tried we tried to check the efficiency of w3 when the cost per unit employed is 15 dollars so in that case the efficiency of w3 was coming out as 21 percent which is more than the efficiency that we needed so yes w3 can also be employed with the same cost of 660 million dollars now let us solve the third question the third question is in 2018 if only w4 is employed to increase efficiency number then find the percentage increase in the number of input units from 2017 to 18 if the total output units in 2018 were 990 million units See in 2018 we are employing W4. So in 2017 efficiency number was 20. If we increase this by how much? By employing W4 which will lead to an increase of 10% in the efficiency number. So it will be 20 into 1.1. 22 will be our new efficiency number. Now we need to find out the percentage increase in the number of input units. So in 2017 the number of input units it was 40 million. It was given to us. In 2018, we have the total output units, which is 990. We know that the efficiency number in 2018 is 22. So efficiency number will be equal to total output units upon input units. So if we put the value of output units as 990 million, we'll be getting total input units in 2018 equal to 45 million. So in 2017, total input units were 40 million. In 2018, it is 45 million. If we find out the percentage increase from 40 to 45, it will be 5 upon initial 40 into 100, which gives me a total increase of 12.5%. So that's it. Option C will be the correct answer. So this was very easy. Let's try to solve the fourth question now. The fourth question is, if in 2018, the total input unit remained the same as previous year and the machine was employed with the ways given, all were employed partially such that one particular way was employed on n number of inputs and another on m number of inputs and so on such that the total cost of employing each of the four ways was the same what the percentage increase in number of output units as compared to previous year so in the very first line we were told that input units will remain the same that means 40 million but now we are employing all the ways and how are we employing all the ways we are employing one way on n number of inputs then another way on m number of inputs and so on and we are employing them in such a way that the total cost of employing each of the four ways was the same so that means the number of inputs on which we are applying ways w1 w2 w3 w4 let them be x y z and w and we have been told that cost must be same so on w1 total cost will be 12 into x on w2 total cost will be 10 into y on w3 total cost will be 18 into z on w4 total cost will be 9 into w so from this we can find out the ratio of x y z w x y z w are the input units number of input units so we'll divide it by the lcm of 12 10 18 9 which is 180 so by 180 by 180 upon 180 upon 180 so we'll be getting x upon 15 equal to y by 18 equal to z by 10 equal to w by 20 so the ratio of x y z w will be 15 ratio 18 ratio 10 ratio 20 so now we want to find out the percentage increase in number of output units as compared to previous years now we need to find out the value of x y z w so there are two ways to do this we know that the total number of input units was same so x plus y plus z plus w this must be equal to 40 million 
बिकॉज इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन ऑल्सो द टोटल नंबर ऑफ इनपुट यूनिट्स वॉज फोर्टी मिलियन एंड अनदर इक्वेशन रिलेटेड टू दिस वॉज ट्वेल्व एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू टेन वाई इक्वल टू एटीन जेड इक्वल टू नाइन डब्ल्यू बिकॉज द कॉस्ट व सेम सो नाउ यू कैन सॉल्व बोथ ऑफ दैम यू कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड डब्ल्यू देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट द नंबर ऑफ आउटपुट यूनिट्स इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन बट दैट वुड टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम सो इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट वी कैन डायरेक्टली एज्यूम दैट द नंबर ऑफ इनपुट यूनिट्स दैट वर गिवन टू डब्ल्यू वन इट वॉज फिफ्टीन टू डब्ल्यू टू इट विल बी एटीन टू डब्ल्यू थ्री टू टेन एंड टू डब्ल्यू फोर इट विल बी ट्वेंटी सो वट विल बी द टोटल नंबर ऑफ इनपुट यूनिट्स इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन इट विल बी फिफ्टीन प्लस एटीन प्लस टेन प्लस ट्वेंटी विच गिवज मी टोटल सिक्सटी थ्री इनपुट यूनिट्स सो इफ आई पुट टोटल सिक्सटी थ्री इनपुट यूनिट्स इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन वट विल बी द आउटपुट एफिशियंसी नंबर इज ट्वेंटी सो टोटल आउटपुट वुड बी वन टू सिक्स जीरो यूनिट्स दिस वुड बी आर नंबर ऑफ आउटपुट यूनिट्स इन ईयर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन बट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट टू थाउजेंड एटीन वट विल बी द टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटपुट यूनिट्स बाई यूजिंग डब्ल्यू वन वी नो दैट फिफ्टीन मिलियन यूनिट्स इनपुट यूनिट्स दे वर पुट एंड इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन द एफिशियंसी नंबर इट विल बी इंक्रीज बाई फिफ्टीन परसेंट वील इंक्रीज द एफिशियंसी नंबर ट्वेंटी बाई फिफ्टीन परसेंट दैट मीन्स वन पॉइंट वन फाइव सिमिलरली फॉर डब्ल्यू टू इट वुड बी एटीन मिलियन इनपुट यूनिट्स एफिशियंसी नंबर इंक्रीज डू टू डब्ल्यू टू विल बी ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव सो वील इन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन पॉइंट वन टू फाइव फॉर डब्ल्यू थ्री विल बी गेटिंग द आउटपुट यूनिट्स एज सी वी हैव टोटल टेन मिलियन इनपुट यूनिट्स सो टेन इन टू एफिशियंसी नंबर विल बी इंक्रीज बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट सो वन पॉइंट टू फाइव एट लास्ट फॉर डब्ल्यू फोर वी हैव ट्वेंटी मिलियन इनपुट यूनिट्स एफिशियंसी नंबर विल बी इंक्रीज बाई टेन परसेंट सो वन पॉइंट वन सो दिस इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटपुट यूनिट्स इन ईयर टू थाउजेंड एटीन इफ यू एड ऑल दीज यूल बी गेटिंग अ वैल्यू ऑफ वन फोर फोर जीरो सो दिस इज द न्यू नंबर ऑफ आउटपुट यूनिट्स इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन दिस वॉज द नंबर ऑफ आउटपुट यूनिट्स इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन वी कैन फाइंड आउट दी परसेंटेज इंक्रीज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू इट इज वन एट्टी इनिशियल वैल्यू इज वन टू सिक्स जीरो इन टू हंड्रेड सो दिस इज हंड्रेड बाई सेवन which will give me a value of roughly around 14.28 so option 2 will be the correct answer to this question so rather than solving the equations you can directly assume a value in that manner you can find out the answer more quickly so i hope the explanation is clear if there's a doubt please ask again thank you